Okay. So thanks for having me. What was that, Noah? Sorry, I didn't know you were recording right there. No worries. Um, well, thanks for hopping on, guys. It's nice to see your faces. Um, I know that Noelle, Lauren, and I have probably been talking with you for a while about this, so um, it's nice to get on and chat about it because we could talk for days and days and days on Messenger, and um, sometimes it's nice to just like see your face and talk it out as real people because that's who we are. Um, so the way we kind of structure this, um, it's super informal, obviously I'm in my sports round pajamas, but, um, we kind of go through a couple questions that we usually get from people about coaching, um, mo most of the more frequent things. And then at the end, it'll be more, um, you guys can ask questions along the way. And if you have anything you don't understand that we're talking about, just stop us and say, Hey, like, can you explain that a little bit more? Um, it's really an open forum and um, don't be afraid to ask anything because like I said, we don't bite and this is to share the love and the wealth with you guys um, because I think Noel, Lauren, Noel and Lauren and I are all coaches, if you don't know, and um, we, oh, Noel's going to get kicked off. She said her internet was a little unstable, um, but we wouldn't be sharing this if we didn't think that you would be awesome coaches as well, so um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been coaching for about a year and a half now. I am a full-time architect, so I do coaching time on the side. And um, I started this just like some of you um, in a challenge group. I had just finished grad school and picked up some unhealthy habits, um, a lot of late nights in studio and eating out. And um, I always have loved fitness, but never really had the knowledge to gain the results that I wanted to and feel kind of confident about myself. Um, so I joined a challenge group with one of my friends from college. She started coaching and um, actually lost some weight. And then she was like, Danielle, why don't you coach? I mean, you love fitness. It's kind of a natural progression. So I was like, what do I have to lose? I already love Shakeology. I already love the 21 day fix. Why not? Um, so I kind of dabbled in it for a little bit and, um, I didn't really get serious about it until January of last year. I went to an event and it kind of made things more real. Um, Beachbody has a bunch of different events they hold with other coaches in your area. So, um, you know, you get to network and meet new people. And I think that was the one thing that I loved about this is I was super involved in college and I kind of lost that sense of community moving to a new city. So um, Noelle and I did not know each other before Beachbody. And now we, um, we work together a lot in different trainings and um, team calls, things like this. So it's kind of cool. Um, we've only met each other once and we talk pretty much every day and I consider her one of my best friends. So the relationships that you can create in this business is outstanding um, and surrounding myself with positive, like-minded um, people that, that want to dream big again and um, that's been the biggest thing for me. Lauren and I went to high school and we hadn't talked in 10 years and she is now on my team. So like I said, just the connections that you create, um, it's, I, the relationships are hands down the best thing for me. So enough about me. Um, Lauren, you want to share a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so I have never been a coordinated person. I'll start there. <laughs> Um, and throughout my time in high school, I was the band geek. Um, so that might give you a little insight into I really was not coordinated or athletic. And it kind of caught up to me. Oh. Hello. It's okay, Courtney. <laughs> I, like, didn't know how to do this. I was really confused. No worries. We're just um, – the coaches are just telling a little bit about ourselves, and then we're going to go through some questions. So – Okay. Um, Sorry, I jumped in. <laughs> no worries. You're good. <laughs> um, so it kind of caught up to me when I was in college um, with Brittany, my roommate, for a little while. And we ordered Chinese a lot or pizza or I ate ramen a lot. And I kind of continued that unhealthy eating while I was in college. 
Um, and then after I got married four years ago, I still kind of continued <laughs> the same bad eating habits. Um, but it started to really weigh on me and I started, it started to almost get depressed about it because I didn't feel good about myself. I didn't have the same kind of confidence that I used to. And um, it was really making me more stressed out. It made me break out <laughs> a lot. Um, it made my relationship with my husband kind of strange because I was angry a little bit because I just felt down and I didn't really have like a purpose or like this passion in my life. Um, so it's actually a little over a year ago when I started to realize maybe I needed to be active and that was what I was missing in my life. So I started running um, and that was cool. It gave me something new to try, a little bit of workout and it relieved a lot of stress. But I got to this point where I, I wanted to lose weight and I couldn't anymore. So um, Danielle had reached out to me and said, hey, like, what is it that you're, you're doing? Um, and kind of asked me about my, my workout routine and those unhealthy eating habits that still were going on. And when I started to be honest and open up with maybe I'm not treating my body <laughs> the way it needs um, I realized I needed to make a change and that's when I started 21 day fix um, I started to pay attention to what my body actually wanted to eat and its reactions to the food I was eating um, and I started to eat healthier and better portions I'll say because before I would load my plate up with food and I would eat it all <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but I started to be a little bit more mindful and I started to change up my workouts and I have to say, I get told from people at work that like, I rarely talk to now because I work full time in an insurance company and they say, Hey, like not to be creepy, but <laughs> like your butt looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and like they're, they're noticing that I'm losing some weight and I'm feeling better. And for me, my relationship with my husband is the most important thing I have in my life, the, the best relationship I have. And the fact that him and I actually have a stronger relationship since I started coaching because I'm more open, I'm more honest, I'm happier. <laughs> Um, and I get to share something that I actually love to do with other people. So it was actually brought our relationship. Um, I, I have to say like 180 degrees and we had an awesome relationship beforehand, but it has really made my life feel more fulfilled, way more passion. Um, and I feel like I, I'm doing something good for people because honestly, what I'm doing is helping people have a, a better life and letting them know that I was there. And honestly, the support that I got, I, I want to push it to everyone and say, you can do it. This is awesome. Like this is in you. Um, and I don't want to go on and on and steal everyone's <laughs> time, but I'll stop there. <laughs> awesome. All right, Noelle, you're up. Okay. I'm having internet problems. So if you lose me, I'm sorry. So my stories are similar um, to Lauren's in the fact that um, I came to this right after, like fully into my first year of marriage. And I basically was, I just felt stuck. Um, I'd always, before I got married, I was in super good shape because, you know, I got to fit in that wedding dress, whatever. Um, I really wanted toned arms, you know. Uh, but um, my husband's in the military, so right after um, we got married, we moved to the middle of nowhere in Florida. So I had to deal with a lot of identity um, change, uh, going from someone who was working in her field as a journalist to working as a hostess at a barbecue restaurant, where the food was great, but it really stuck to your hips. Um, I also had to, you know, be comfortable in my new role as a wife, and um, I really struggled, and I think 
Um, when I met the mutual friend that Daniela and I have, it was actually, it was a perfect time. I needed a challenge. I needed something to work toward to make myself feel, you know, happy again. Not that I was dissatisfied with my husband. He was great, but like, I wasn't happy with my life. Um, and honestly, Beachbody and these workouts helped give me a community of people who understood people, a community of real people who aren't perfect, but are all working toward um, a common goal or a dream. Uh, something that I love about um, my relationship with Danielle, because we set goals together and we do whatever we can to meet them. And I never had that before. Um, and that's something that I'm so attached to and something that is why I I'm not going to stop working out because the workouts are awesome, but I'm not going to leave this community because there's nowhere else that I can find in my twenties of, you know, awesome girls who are from all over the country. And I, I don't have to see them because my lifestyle doesn't let me um, see them face to face, but we can still have a um, strong connection. So, you know, when I look back at my coaching journey, um, that's really the, the main thing aside from losing all the weight and, you know, having abs and stuff like, it's a friendship. That's what's keeping me here. Awesome. So um, we're going to go through some of the questions that you guys um, probably have maybe asked before and try to keep it short and sweet so we don't take too much of your time. Um, so the first question that we usually get is, what do coaches do? Um, you guys probably see us post on social media a lot. Um, maybe you're in a challenge group and you have a kind of sense of how those run. Um, but really for me, it's talking to people and sharing my journey, both publicly and privately. Um, so, you know, I didn't get on Facebook day one and share my transformation photo. Like that didn't just happen. Oh, I'm going to do it. No. Um, I think the biggest thing to know about coaching is that you work on yourself first and foremost. So, um, both fitness and health wise, um, but also mindset is a huge part of what each body coaches do. Um, something called personal development. So all of us either read or listen to podcasts every day. And it has transformed the way that I think about myself and, and the confidence that I have, as well as my relationships with my friends. And I think you've heard from Lauren and Noel talk a lot about their relationships with their husbands. It's because we work on ourselves first and foremost, because how can I help other people if I'm not in a good place myself, right? Um, so it's, it's sharing that love and, and sharing those chapters as you continue to grow and learn as a coach. So, you know, day, like I said, day one, I wasn't sharing a super vulnerable, scary, deep, dark secret. Um, no, those layers unfold over time. And, you know, I'm to a point now that there's not many things I don't share because I know if it can inspire somebody else, it's worth me facing kind of that made up fear in my head of what others may think. Um, and, and that's helped me a lot, but you go through the chapters and there's, there's, um, layers that you unveil as you continue to move through the coaching journey, but it's really just sharing your journey along the way and, and sharing your heart with people openly and honestly. So that's, you guys want to add anything to that? All right, Lauren, why don't you take the next one? How much time does it take to coach? Uh, so for me, when I started coaching, I said, I'm going to do an hour a day. Um, and I definitely do an hour a day to trying to think about what I want to share with people, um, working on myself, doing my workout listening to my podcast, um, whether I'm in the shower <laughs> or I'm driving to work, um, cause I really want to get that in and then, you know, reaching out to people and talking to them and finding out how they're doing or, um, what they're up to. Um, I can say that I, over time have ebbs and flows to that. So there's days that I have nothing planned on the weekend and instead of watching TV, I'd rather be talking to people. So if I feel like putting in a couple more hours into it, I do. Um, but I give myself at least one hour a day to really focus in on, you know, my journey and seeing where other people are in their lives and if I can help them out. 
I think the biggest thing is like you become your own boss when you coach. Like, yes, you join a team, um, but you can decide like what your goals are and what action you want to take to get there. And of course your coach will, you know, help guide you along the way because we've all kind of know, all right, if you want to pay for your psychology, like this is the plan we kind of need to lay out. Um, like I didn't start out wanting to replace my income or anything. I just wanted to pay for my Shakeology. And so those were kind of the actions that I started to put in. And I think like Lauren's saying, over time, it's become so such a passion of ours and something we enjoy so much that like I don't watch two hours of Real Housewives at night anymore because that's not really filling my cup. Um, is it fun every now and then? Yeah, of course. Everybody loves The Bachelor, right? But um I've kind of replaced those times and poured it back into giving this to other people because it has done so much for me, but you get to decide because you're your own boss. And, um, we have a training that you start going through that's 15 days long when you start coaching and it's short and sweet five to 10 minutes a day. And you will have the tools and the resources to start learning how to incorporate this into your life. So it's not just like, oh, I'm a coach. What do I do type of thing? Um, it can be broken up. Like I'll do 10 minutes here or 15 minutes there on a break. And, um, you know, you learn how to kind of fit it into those pieces in your day. So it's not super scary or overwhelming. Um, Noelle, you want to take the next one? The internet's being really weird, so I apologize again. No worries. Okay. Like, I didn't hear half of the stuff you just said. Oh, well, we can hear you. Okay. So the next question that we typically get is, I'm afraid of sounding too salesy or targeting my friends and family. Now, this is something that um, I hear a lot, and I know Danielle and Lauren hear a lot um, from their new coaches, and it's totally reasonable. I mean, none of us want to appear like, you know, our – we're selling something sleazy or we're being, you know, car salesmen. And I think that's, it goes back to the, the first thing that Danielle said, how this is a personal growth journey. And um, when you're experiencing something that you're proud of and that's exciting, you're naturally going to start telling people. Um, you're naturally going to start um, carrying yourself in a different way. It's just like if you found your favorite restaurant and, you know, you're, best friend loves cheeseburgers and they have amazing cheeseburgers. You're naturally going to tell her, dude, go to the cafe 24 and get a cheeseburger. Cause it's amazing. Um, honestly, that's really how we all started. Um, we all started by saying, um, I mean, my best friend was my first person I ever helped. And I was like, Hey, I know that we're always talking about losing weight. This is what's worked for me. You should give it a try. And she jumped on board and then been with me since 18 months ago, day one. Um, and, yeah, of course, there's going to be some people out there who aren't going to want to be a part of this or who are going to be like, Lauren, you've changed. Like, I don't know who you are anymore. Well, that's the point, right? Like, we don't want to be who we were. Um, I don't want to be the same person I was 18 months ago. My husband doesn't want me to be that person either. Um, we have to keep evolving and we have to keep um, working towards something. Um, you know, life is about growing, not staying the same. Um, sorry, that was a little bit of a tangent. But um, it also goes back to what Danielle said about the 15-day training. Um, we we'll give you the tools, um, what you need to basically open yourself up to people. Um, this is an attraction marketing business. So you're attracting people into, um, you know, your challenge groups like you all are in. Some of you may not be in, but I think most of you have experienced a challenge group before. So you're attracting people into your challenge groups. Um, you're attracting people into your coach circle like you guys are all here right now. Um, there's something that you saw in Danielle or in Lauren that intrigued you and that you were like, hey, I could do that. Or, hey, that sounds interesting. Um, and I don't think I wouldn't – I would assume that none of you think that Danielle or Lauren are these weird salesy people. They're heart sharers, and that's what a coach is, um, someone who shares exactly um, what's going on in their life and um, how they're overcoming it and how – and get providing the tools for other people to do the same. So um, is there anything else you guys would like to add to that? You just hit the nail on the head. You speak so well. <laughs> Must be the pregnancy talking in her. Yeah, my nap helped. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lauren, you want to take the next one? Do I have to be at my goal weight or can I be a coach and start my journey at the same time? Absolutely not. You do not have to be at your goal weight. 
Um, and actually, I think it's more fun when you're not. And if you're not ready and, and at the, the perfect, whatever perfect is in your head, um, it's no fun to watch perfect people. And I think I love watching people that have an honest story. Um, and people are attracted to that. People are attracted to someone who is on a journey, someone who, who is working for something. Um, so whether you, you want to learn to do a push up, which was my goal, <laughs> and I finally accomplished it. Um, whether you want to lose five, 20, a hundred pounds, 200 pounds, whatever it is, it's fun to watch that. And that's what inspires people. Um, you know, I think about the people that I love to watch. I, I used to watch the biggest weight loss shows because I love watching what those people are going through because they are just inspiring. Like if someone can sit there and every day keep working at something, why can't I? I can do that. I can put in 30 minutes and go work out for a, for a day and get to my goals and help share that with other people. Um, so absolutely not. You don't have to beat your whole weight. It's way more fun when you're not, <laughs> honestly. I think you are great. <laughs> no and I think it's not even about weight either it's um truly about like if you're not at a place where you're like well I'm not ready to coach or whatever I think it's I like to say shit make your mess your message right um everybody in life has their stuff and when you can embrace that and run with it um this journey is so much more fun so I think um you've probably seen each of some of that in each of us. So um, that's a good point, Lauren. I think you said it pretty well. So the last question we have that everybody wants to know is what is the earning potential as a coach? Um, I will preface this with saying, no, this is not a get rich quick. This is not, um, you know, some crazy thing. But I will also say there is a huge potential for wealth creation if you are looking to have financial freedom, if you're looking to travel more, if you're looking to pay off debt. Um, Noelle has matched her previous income and she has moved three times now since she started coaching and I had to keep up and she's never had to go get a new job where she's living and I know for her that has been huge and now she is going to have a baby in July and she doesn't have to worry about going back to work and missing time with her son like that's incredible and she can do everything that we're doing at home or online like she's been at the airport and signed people up before so it's pretty cool that you can take this business anywhere um, it's kind of a weird question and an awesome timing at the same time because tomorrow I'm on track to match my architecture income with coaching income in 14 months of going all in with this business and like I said I just wanted to offset my Shakeology costs starting out so Saying that out loud, it, it gives me chills, but it means nothing if I can't give that back to other people. And I think Lauren and Noelle would agree. Noelle's frozen at a really funny face. <laughs> but um, it's true. Like this business, it the people and the community, and I know we keep talking about this, like I don't feel fulfilled unless I can help my coaches see success. And I think that that makes this business different that I can go to anybody. Like I was just, um, Beachbody does a success club trip every year. So they chartered a whole entire cruise ship um, earlier in March. And I went on the trip for free, except for my plane ticket, everything was paid for. Um, and it was awesome. And it was great to go talk to people that I had been following and admiring. And we shared ideas and we shared trainings and we shared like ways that we were seeing success openly and honestly. There's not many other businesses that do that. Um, and it's, it's just been incredible for me to have that support of other women all around the country. Um, so anything is possible. Sky is the limit for sure. But um, no, you can start with a small goal and build your goals over time. It doesn't have to be leaving your job or, you know, 
thousands of dollars, you could just be in it for the community and offsetting your Shakeology. And that is super awesome too. So um, I guess lastly, I wanted to share that when Noelle and I went to um, Beachbody has a conference every summer for all coaches um, called Coach Summit. And we went to Nashville last summer and that's where we met for the first time. Um, and they recognize people on stage, you know, for um, erasing their debt or paying off their mortgage, um, big, huge goals. Um, and there's people that walked across stage that has earned over a million dollars with Beachbody, which is insane. Um, but the people that walked across that stage, there's people that were 25, there's people that were 55, there was people that were ripped and six pack abs, and there's people that are still clearly on their journey. So the biggest thing that I can tell you is success does not play favorites in this business. It really is open to whatever you want to go after. And I think that that's the beautiful thing that anybody it's here for the taking um and our teams are all really established so we have big huge support systems for all of you to be embraced into um anything you guys wanted to add lauren noah i think you got it girl <laughs> <laughs> all right you talk about money you're better than i am i'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> well it's the truth so um so now we kind of like to ask the three of you guys, if you don't mind, um, just introducing yourself and sharing what excites you and what scares you about coaching. Courtney, you want to go first? Uh, so what excites me and what scares me? Yeah. I mean, I'm excited to just be more involved. Like I, like Danielle, you know, I'm pretty like active on social media with everything. Um, I just want to see what benefits I'll get from it because like I'm not making any money right now from it and I post a lot of stuff. So I'm excited to see like what I can get out of it. Um, and I'm mostly scared about not having enough time to do all the things I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it. Awesome. Caitlin? Um, so I'm, I agree. I'm the most excited about the opportunity. It kind of lies ahead. It, seems like a good community um, and I'm also a little nervous about this not the time commitment but that if I commit to doing something I like to be all in and able to devote and want to make sure that I can make it a priority every you know once an hour every day or a few hours each week um, and not fall short awesome thanks for sharing and Brittany <coughs> um, is kind of similar to what everyone else has see, said. I'm really excited to be able to help people and it seems like it's a good idea and uh, would gain good skills from doing it that might help in the future. And kind of nervous about you know, a bit of the commitment, not necessarily time, but what needs to be done there, as well as a uh, reaching out for people because I think once someone's there that'll be the easier part but trying to get people who don't come to you is uh -huh. not something you're used to. Yeah I think those are all um, awesome and initial concerns and things that we hear all of the time and the biggest thing I can say is like our training definitely addresses all of those things so you guys will learn how to fit it in your schedule and how to talk to people. And we, like I said, we're all established teams. Noel and I have been doing this for a year and a half now. So we kind of have gone through the bumps in the road and learn how to effectively like reach out to new people and um, talk to people with like an honest heart. And we really believe in leading, you know, with an open, genuine heart. And I think all of our team members would agree. Um, Noah, you want to speak to that a little bit? Um, I mean, honestly, it just comes down to, um, you know, trusting your coach and really listening to what they say. I mean, I've worked with so many people over the last couple of months and the ones that stick it out and who actually like see great success are the ones who, um, who are teachable. And I mean, at the end of the day, that's all you can be because you're doing something completely different. You have no, I mean, most, I mean, you have no like, 
what's the word, background in any of this. And so um, leaning on Danielle and Lauren, that's the best way that you'll see results. It's the best way you're going to figure out how to be confident when you hear, you know, negativity from people because that's inevitable. Um, whenever you're doing something that is challenging or that challenges the norm, you're going to have pushback. And there's this quote that I love that says, if you're doing um, – Oh, if you're not, uh, gosh, I had it. But it basically, if um, if you're not, if people around you are happy, you're not doing good work because you're not pushing boundaries. And um, you know, unless you want to be a square, not a square peg in a round hole. If you want to fit in like everyone else in this world, then um, you know this isn't for you. And um, you know, Danielle and Lauren and I, we want to have teams that are filled with people who are go-getters and people who, um, you know, who want to be strong and want to be confident in everything that they do. I mean, like we said before, like this is a life changing opportunity. Yes. You're losing weight. Yes. You're um, getting healthy, but <coughs> it's becoming a better person. It's becoming a healthier person through and through. So I hope that um, we've conveyed that and shared that enough because, you know, when I look back, I think, when I look back at some coaches who haven't, who just didn't like make it, I guess. Um, a lot of it is because, you know, we weren't, we were, we were too easy on them. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I'm not so scary, you guys, but you know, this, this isn't uh like, like Danielle said, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. Uh, Danielle works her butt off and she works a full-time job, but she leads with passion in her heart. And um, she's one of the most genuine people I know. So she deserves all of the awesome accolades that she's getting. And so do all of you guys. Like I said, and I think Noel and I both learned that, like when I went on the success club trip, nobody else from our team went. And that was the biggest like, oh my gosh moment. Like, I don't want to be at another event with no one from my team there. Like, I want to give this back to my team next year. And I want 20 of them there with me. So, um, I think that you will see, hopefully, when all of you say yes, that um, it's completely attainable. And the only difference between me, Lauren, Noelle, and the rest of you is time and and leading with your heart and just going all in. And that's really it. Um, I think also what Noelle was saying, like, I almost like to hear negativity back and you know, not that I get it all the time, but I know that my message is strong enough when people have something to say about it, right? Um, so it's kind of cool when you think about it that way. And that's where kind of personal development comes in. But what other questions do you guys have? Don't be bashful. Um, well, I was going to ask about, um, like how I was saying, I was concerned about time and stuff, but I guess you said like in the training stuff, mm -hmm. it, like, I assume it will answer questions I have. Cause I feel like I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. You really, it's really, um, as much as you want to put, put in, you will get out. Um, so we have like a system called a power hour and it breaks down some simple basic activities that you want to do every day. Um, and I like to kind of race against the clock to see how efficient I can get with, um, each of those activities, you know, talking to people, putting posts up, that kind of thing. So, that's where we kind of usually start. And like I said, you can do 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, if you need to break it up. Um, and so you'll learn, you'll learn what will work for you and working with Monica and myself to come up with a schedule of like, okay, I'm a morning person. So how do I kind of fit this in? Like for me, it was waking up a half an hour early and adding a half an hour there and then coming home and doing a half an hour. But I think Noella and Lauren would both agree. Like, don't let this consume your life either because it's easy for me to want to do it all the time, but you need to have a life too. Um, so, you know, yeah, we'll definitely talk about it in the training and how to manage your time and how to kind of fit it in. But um, like I said, you, you become your own boss, so you can decide what kind of works for you and um, talking with your coach about your goals and, you know, if you want to pay for your psychology each month, you can kind of backtrack. Okay, I probably need to talk to this many people this week, and then. So I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, you're fine. How does that? I don't get how that works. Like, like how does that? Like, like pay off your psychology. So, like, mm -hmm. if you 
like when you're like you log your hours like how does that work so um we say if you help three people a month with a challenge pack same way that you bought courtney then that offsets your costs of shakeology so that's usually what the goal we kind of work to meet the first month is to offset your entire challenge pack cost because it's awesome to not pay for shakeology and help three people you know it's kind of a win-win um, and we have conversations, like I said, to help you learn how to do that. So what other questions you guys have? Um, what is the psychology? So, um, Lauren can definitely send you some information about it, but it's a superfoods nutrition dense shake is what I like to call it. Um, if you do a fitness program, it usually comes with Shakeology. So it's really focusing on your nutrition and your fitness at the same time. Um, but Lauren can send you some info on that because it's probably easier to watch some videos than me send paragraphs about it. <laughs> what else? Yeah, yeah Britt, we'll definitely talk. <laughs> it's awesome. I eat chocolate for breakfast every day. I will say that. And I think Caitlin and Courtney will agree. So, Yeah, I was skeptical about Shakeology at first because I thought it was too expensive. But I can't imagine not having it. And like, I, was, I just got back from vacation and I didn't work out for five days and I didn't have my Shakeology. And I felt like I gained like 500 pounds. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, it was so great to have my shake again. Yeah, Caitlin, anything? I don't even know what I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I kind of agree with Courtney. Like, I was a little confused, but you explained about, like, the offsetting the cost of Shakeology. I wasn't sure what that meant, but mm -hmm. I'm sure the trainings will go over a lot more, and I'll have a million questions then. Which we welcome. <laughs> we welcome. <laughs> We love questions because some coaches will sit back and like not say anything. And then they're like, well, I didn't know that. They're like, why don't you just ask me? <laughs> um, and the way the training works, just so you guys know, um, it's a 15 day training and we run it through email. So each day is about five to 10 minute video with a simple homework assignment. So when you send that back to your coach, they send you the next day. So like on the weekend, if you want to do three days in a row, you can do that and work as fast or as slow as you want. Um, and then there'll be a Facebook group where there's like files and resources um, to back up the training as well as like a place for you guys to ask questions and it's filled with other new coaches. So um, it's pretty, pretty simple um, and pretty effective. Lauren's been through the training, so you can speak to that, right? Absolutely. I welcome any questions that come with that. Um, it, it honestly, it's pretty, pretty easy to get through. If you just give yourself, like, I gave myself 10 minutes at least to focus on. I, I'll go on the high end because <laughs> um, I probably read through things two, three times just to make sure, like, do I have more questions I want to ask? <laughs> do I got, do I have information down? Um, and honestly, I mean, I, I'm sure Danielle will admit and attest to it. I asked questions, like I had, I had paragraphs of questions. And sometimes <laughs> we would just do a quick call and you know, run through them all. Um, but I felt better in the end that I had at least asked it, I had the answer. I looked through the resources that were out there on the group page. Um, so, I mean, ask as many questions as you got because I'm sure you're not the first or the last who's going to ask them. What else? Anything else? Ready to run? <laughs> Awesome. Well, your coach will follow up with you after the call, and hopefully we will be seeing a lot more of your beautiful faces in our team. I'm excited. I think it'll be awesome. Yay. Thank you guys for hopping on tonight. We appreciate it, and we will chat with you soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <coughs>